Lady Davina Windsor exposed how Bossy Meg excluded Harry's cousins from their royal wedding. Meghan Markle is accused of excluding so many of Harry's cousins from their wedding. One of the issues that came up at the time of the Harkles' wedding was that apart from only Harry's closest cousins, such as Princess Eugenie and Beatrice, were invited to the wedding, a large part of his family was also excluded. As we know, the wedding was largely lavishly paid for by now King Charles III, and there are many traditions, and an extremely long-standing one is that the wider cousinage are invited to royal events. This caused quite a lot of upset, apparently. For example, the late Queen was close to her cousins, such as, for example, the Duke of Gloucester, who's a full-time working royal, some of whom live on the royal estate. And so they're always invited to and seen at important royal events. For example, at the chapel at the wedding of Prince William and Princess Catherine, the Trooping of the Colour, the Queen's funeral, and so on. But in Harry's wedding, Lady Davina Windsor, later Lewis, who's the elder daughter of the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester, was removed by Meghan. She and her daughter, Senna Kawe Lewis, part of the royal family and in the line of succession at the funeral of the late Queen Elizabeth. Instead, there were many celebrities, some of which openly admitted to having met the Harkles once, who were sitting in the innermost chapel. In total, 600 guests were invited to the ceremony and reception. They also invited over 2,000 other individuals. Some random members of the public were invited to attend outside the chapel at Windsor Castle. Meghan thought that being seen with celebrities as guests that she'd be glamorous, part of the in-crowd of however her mind works. It was a huge red flag, the biggest red flag ever visible from the moon. Meghan only cares about you if you're rich and ultra-famous and can help boost her wanted social status as a quadruple A-list celebrity. If you're still a royal, but generally unknown to the public sphere, with respect the Gloucesters are not as well known in Hollywood as William and Catherine because they're further from the throne. She wants nothing to do with you, and wouldn't hesitate to ice you out. Such is the behaviour that led to her eventual downfall. In other news, Meghan Markle is plotting an epic comeback as a single mum. Royal family critics are convinced that Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are biding their time, and will make a formal divorce announcement any day now. Despite not even formally separating yet, the Duchess of Sussex is already reportedly planning her rebrand. It was confirmed a few months ago that Meghan Markle was dusting off her old Go Daddy domain and relaunching the TIG, her mediocre lifestyle blog that vanished after she went public with Prince Harry. The Duchess was certain that she was going to Gwyneth Paltrow and Goop. The Duchess was certain that she was going to give Gwyneth Paltrow and Goop a run for their money, because of course millions of people were going to log on every day to see what Meghan was telling them to wear, eat, and take a stand against. Regardless of the TIG's success or potential success, Markle has always felt like she was missing out on a million dollar business because of Harry. Meghan Markle is a PR mess right now, but rumour has it Meghan's planning on launching a website to coincide with a divorce announcement, and she's planning to focus on being a single mum and co-parenting on the TIG.